Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 and I've got a particularly dastardly plan up my sleeve. But more about that later, that's fine. Let's go visit our family. So we found out last time by forcing um, Clement to eat uh, <laughs> the fruit that uh, it makes people go a little bit nuts. Which I know to most people would be really sad, but to me, it makes me think, could it be weaponized? And I think it can. Right, first of all, we gotta um, buy a lot of these weapons, I mean fruit from this guy. Wait, why is he allowing me that stuff? <laughs> Alright, well, that's good to know. <laughs> oh my god, Santa just snuck up right behind me. I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> Better buy more fruit while I still can. Alright, 99 ought to do. <laughs> Thank you very much. He must be like, why do you want all Oh, no reason, no reason. <laughs> but I am gonna need something to protect myself from all this. Perfect. <laughs> that ought to keep him safe. Stop trying to wake up Shrek. He's having a well-deserved rest. He's a working man now. Come on, scooby do. Let's go visit the neighbors. Like, split up, Scoob. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's gone. All right, well, that's good news. Then I can actually steal his house. All right, back home. God, this will be the fastest I've ever abandoned a house. <laughs> I think I increased its value. I added, like, an outhouse area. I mean, hot tub. <laughs> I'm in the real estate frame of mind. Outdoor bar. <laughs> and a shit ton of paint that my kid just keeps throwing around. He's really undisciplined. All right, let's take that guy's house. Or, well, let's hijack his plane. Come on. Yeah, it's up for sale. The guy is definitely dead anyway. <laughs> Get all toddler skills to level five for a special skill. I don't think my guy even knows how to talk and he's like 12. <laughs> I didn't teach him anything. Oh wait, that broke the curse. He's not infected anymore. Here, eat this. <laughs> he falls for it again. <laughs> he's like, I see no connection to this fruit and my illness. <laughs> Jim is really happy he's infected him. Okay, you wander the perimeter. You stay guard. Okay, we have work to do here if we're gonna convert this into a space for all of us. Okay, we're changing this closet thing into a hallway which will have another room off of that there we go have a big door so no one can get in or out if i don't want them to and a lot of windows because you know it's it's fun to look at people that you have captured spending all my budget on glass i wanted to go cheap with everything else because you know i don't want to spend too much money down in this house i gotta be careful with my money and this can be jim's room <laughs> The others will never know this is where all the budget went. And a little window so he can look across into their chamber and just keep an eye on them, you know? There we go. And the aircon for the bathroom just puts right out into the cooking area. <laughs> God, what is my dog freaking out about? Just because he's got graffiti on him, he's diseased, stinks, and has... Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't feed him. <laughs> yeah, I should probably buy him a dog bowl. All right, we already have an enemy in mind that we need to invite over. We'll be the first victim in the house, a, v a visitor in the house. Oh, first name aged up. Let's make him a public enemy. I'm not surprised. He got neglected throughout his whole childhood. You can hardly blame him. By God, he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> What's his disguise? We've not seen that yet. Huh. Cultural appropriation is his disguise. Interesting. He's taking a selfie immediately with his new look. Now, I'll have to alter that. That's not uh, politically correct. And it's current year after all. Second one has sent first name a gift. Look for the right- He's dead. <laughs> he drowned in a pool. <laughs> How is he sending you a gift? He somehow definitely looks more alien in his disguise <laughs> than he does when he's actually alien. I think it's the socks with sandals that gives him away. He's got a massive afro and he's gonna hide it under that Santa hat. Actually, I think the mohawk mullet kind of suits him better. <laughs> we'll go with that. I don't think I've ever seen someone more accurately represent the saying the food goes straight to my hips. <laughs> it all just gathers here. <laughs> all the weight, even the arms, there's just a cutoff. This reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to eat jelly babies and I'd rip their heads and legs off and stick them on a different color. Was I the only one that did that? That's probably why I'm so messed up when I play games. Anyway, that's your disguise. <laughs> uh, he's definitely my son anyway. <laughs> oh my god, he's fallen asleep already. <laughs> Look at his little picture down the bottom left. It looks like a kid who's been disappointed on Christmas. <laughs> Cole again? <laughs> oh, she's my enemy too. You come over as well. Oh, she's my enemy, but she loves me. She can come too. <laughs> Where the hell is that Vlad guy? Can he not find my house? Like, I know it's kind of hidden, but still, it's like, oh, it's the plane off the freeway. <laughs> How could you miss it? Oh, he's down there, <laughs> just skulking the corridors. Okay. Now, I know no sane man would join my family and voluntarily go into that chamber, but what if you're not sane, huh? Hungry, by any chance? <laughs> Why would anyone take fruit from this guy who's notoriously evil and is now wearing a colander on his head? I guess on the bright side, the fruit is more likely to be clean. That's gotta count for something, right? 
Plus, it's basically like bad vibes already. It's like the evil witch from Snow White just giving you an apple like, Apple? <laughs> in you go. <laughs> okay, now we'll just lock that up. Plant a bug on him just in case they start talking about me or anything. If they start plotting about leaving. <laughs> even though I don't think they can plot even going to the bathroom at this stage. They seem pretty out of it. He gives him a hug. That calms him down. As if you wouldn't be immediately suspicious if that man started giving you a friendly hug. Her nest is clouded in beauty. We do not deserve her. Well, I'm a he, but I forgive you for getting my pronouns wrong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll see you later. The annoying thing is you can't lock these doors, which is a real downside. Like, why would you want vault doors that can't even lock? I wonder can he still look after himself? Because he doesn't seem like he's in any shape to cook or anything. Oh, he's getting a glass of water. Okay. It's weird that you can stay still long enough to have that. Oh, you seem quite mesmerized by it, though. I don't think you like it. Why are you just vomiting everywhere? Why won't you eat? Wait, he's got a cold and that made him feel flirty? <laughs> Why? <laughs> made him happy and flirty. He really looks on the- What? Where the hell did Santa just go? Okay, he's back. I don't know where the hell he just went. He just disappeared for a second. Teleported away. Oh, he's after snapping out of it, but unfortunately he's still locked in here. <laughs> Jim's out there just like, Sorry man, you agreed to be in there. There's nothing I can do for you as much as I'd like to. You can hear him singing from above ground. Because lost in <laughs> I think people might get suspicious. You wanna go on a date at the Hogan's Bar? Yeah, sure. I need to get out of the house anyway. She's like, oh, kids been a strain on you? No, it's the prison. <laughs> Kid's fine, I don't even see him most of the time. Although I did see a weird guy with a mohawk mullet wandering around my house. I don't know what that's about. Oh my god, they've taken me to my old bar. No, we don't want to go in here. Anyone who goes in here cannot get out. All the people I've killed, it is time to leave. Wait, before I go, you hate me. Would you fancy some fruit? Oh. Yeah, why eat at the restaurant when I brought fruit, right? Oh, she's happy. She's delighted I brought fruit. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. <laughs> you live with me now. <laughs> Wait, I would like to adult now? What? I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Jim's just like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> They're happy to see each other. They're glad someone's joined them. I forgot to put some pictures up. <laughs> Can't be leaving the walls bare now, can I? There we go. <laughs> One over each bed. I hope you guys do this in your uh, house too. I mean, they are for sale in the merch store if you want any. <laughs> I would advise having uh, them over every single bed. They're like dream catchers. They catch the dreams and they just fucking strangle them. <laughs> oh my god, I can reverse age people? I need to start experimenting on people in that chamber. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. God, Jim, put on your colander. You don't want to catch anything. They're both going nuts right now. Okay, I just turned her into a plant. <laughs> Pretty fun experiment. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. You could be an insane plant. I'm just guessing that plant thing might have cured you. I mean, probably not. And you, you're getting reversed age because I gotta know what this does. Set age. Turn him into a child. Oh my god. He was a creepy child for just one second there. Oh my god, now I gotta raise the kid. Ah, well, I'm still gonna leave him locked in there. I'll wait till child services takes my experiment away. Copy a gooman. <laughs> She's gonna freaking out. The kid is just singing along. He's happy. All right, come on, Colander Jim. We gotta solve some crimes. And not the ones I've been committing. He's just watching him. He looks pissed. It's like not another one that I have to take care of. <laughs> As if he ever took care of any of them before. Oh, he just repositioned to look pissed again. <laughs> Thought he was actually moving for a reason, but no. Shrek has just resorted to sleeping in the chair because there's such a lack of beds. Oh my god, my dog is just inside the bed. Why are you eating human food when I gave you normal food? I have that thing spitting out food every hour. <laughs> I don't care if you eat yourself to death, to be honest. God, Jim is pissed. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go solve some mysteries. He's taking pictures of the spores <laughs> to get ideas. <laughs> First name is off to school. Oh, Jesus Christ. That poor man doesn't have a chance. Like, between his name, the way he looks, the fact he definitely had an unstable upbringing. <laughs> Alright, I think I've searched everything for evidence now. I don't know, do I have to just wait for the key card that's arriving by, by mail, I guess? It said it would take a few days. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> They're just laughing like <laughs> we don't feed our dog and he has disease. Oh wait, I have enough evidence to compile secret dossier. Okay, I didn't realize that. <laughs> He's just on social media. He's like, hey, anyone got a key card for the secret base? Oh wait, okay, it's compiled. Okay, uh, request a key card. 
I bet, uh, uh, okay, I can give it to that crazy guy out front and he'll give me a keycard. I already requested one from the military, but I'm just not willing to wait. What's this? Uh, scapegoat. Yeah, pass the blame. I don't even know what it's for. Just pass the blame. Oh, wait, it says one to two days. Should I just wait? No, I'm not patient enough. Okay, any door in the secret lab can now be opened. Let's go. Santa, you're coming with me too. Speaking of scapegoats, just in case I need one, you'll come along for the ride. I like how he wears such casual wear for this investigation. <laughs> He looks so unsure. Wait, there's feckin' spores in the air. Did I just release them into the wild? <laughs> I think I may have. What the hell is that one doing? Oh my god. Wait, I can taunt a plant? Go taunt him. Feck that plant in particular. <laughs> oh my god, he's feckin' kicking it. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Oh no, he's sneezing already. Okay, I'm not going in there. I'll send Santa in there. Santa, go here. <laughs> no, wait. Jog here. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> he has no fear. <laughs> Or maybe he just fears Jim more. <laughs> oh, he passed out. He probably shouldn't have been breathing that stuff. Oh, and now he's possessed again. All right, well, there goes my scapegoat. Watch him as he goes. <laughs> okay, question military personnel at the local bar to get an infection scanner. This is just raising more questions. I don't know what to do here either. Oh, it's worked. <laughs> they actually think I'm gonna go. Oh, they are fools. He's focused. <laughs> he gets inspired by not going to work. All right, come on, Santa. We're going to the bar. <laughs> we'll just drink off your illness. The hell is that? The bloom begins. Yeah, I unleashed a plague onto this town. I'm here like, what, two hours? And I ruined this town? The sky has shifted to an eerie color. Something has changed in Strangerville. Yeah, that's me. You'll need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores in the secret lab. Try talking to people around town. Okay. I don't know how everyone knows about what I should do. <laughs> like, if they all know what to do, why aren't they doing it? Wait, are you military? Can you tell me stuff? I can't tell if you're military or a gardener. I think you might be a gardener. I put on kids music. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect bear music. He's dancing along like, huh, my favorite song. <laughs> how does that dance fit that song? I like how he continues to dance even though my dog is vomiting in front of him. Oh, you're pregnant. Is it mine? Like, genuinely, I don't know. <laughs> really don't know at this point. Everyone's just talking about the celebrity. They're not talking about me anymore. Jim, take care of her. I'm your biggest fan. Eat this fruit. Imagine just being offered fruit from a random fan and you just take it. She's immune. <laughs> the hell? And I'm the one left sleeping on the floor. What the hell is this? I'm gonna kill her one day. I don't think the military are showing up, you know. Wait, he got a new infection scanner. It's really cool. It, uh, oh, if I can convince him, he can give it to me. I don't understand. What do I have to do? Fight? Seduce. Honestly, I'd probably be better fighting. <laughs> I'm gonna try him both. I'll seduce, and if he rejects me, I'll fight him. Oh god, okay, he rejected me. Immediately break into fight for rejecting me. Jim is pretty strong, so he's a good chance here, even though they're military, so... We'll see. There you go, violence solves everything. <laughs> I yield, take it. You've earned it, just stop hurting me. They now despise each other. Great, I got the infection scanner. We've made a lot of good progress here today. <laughs> Where's my dog? Just follow the trail of vomit. Ah, oh, there he is. Good boy, vomit in the bathroom. You're well trained. All right, well, I think we've done enough for one day. I think Jim thinks so too. <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> oh, almost in the vomit. That was close. But yeah, we've solved a bit of the mystery. And we got up to a good bit of mischief. Poisoned a lot of people. So that's always a good sign. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Let me know if you have any suggestions of what you want to see me do. I am going to continue on this investigation, but we'll mix in other stuff as well. I appreciate you watching, as always, folks. Means the world to me. And other than that, I guess I'll just see you next time. Bye for now.